This is a short video of a time-lapse illustration of a football mascot uh, that I did for a local um, community foundation charity. Starting with a photo, I drew some line art first for the fur and the cap. And from the shape of the eyes, I decided to change the top line um, because I wanted him to look a little happier. And then drawing the pupil, which um, is pretty much a black circle with a little white dot to show the shine in the eyes. And again, referring back to the photo all of the time, because it's never good to try and draw something from imagination. It never goes right. Always use reference photos or material. I even sometimes take photos myself, um, of myself for reference pictures, but I'm not dressing up as a mascot, so hence the photo. So as you can see from the smile, I've lifted the corners of the mouth slightly more than the original photo because I wanted him to look like he's smiling more. And then the shape of the body, the shirt and the stripes. As you can see that I've lifted one arm because I want it to look like he's waving. Um, the point of this picture is that it, it's a free activity sheet that children can fill a background in um, with, well, a, a background scene, what's going on behind him. It's an activity sheet where Victor Magpie is on a Zoom call and um, the activity is that you draw a background to say where he's calling from. Uh, as you can see in the arm, I've lifted the, well, feathers, wing feathers, slightly at the edges um, to make them look like the swinging as he waves to get a bit of movement. I could have had them all hanging down, but it wouldn't have had as much of a dynamic feel. And going back here and, and um, sorting out some of the edges of those wing feathers to make them look fluffy and feathery. Or furry, well, feathery, mainly. Uh, more feathers hanging down this time so that they look like they're dangling downwards with his arm. And lifting up this little bit of the sleeve so it doesn't look so rounded. Adding more lines on the shirt. And as you can see, I've absolutely had to get a reference for that because there is no way I was drawing that from imagination. I'd be there all day. So I pretty much traced it. I mean, normally I'd do it from scratch, but I didn't have all day on this one. So I traced those and then cleaned them up. And added some extra lines over some of the fur lines just to balance out some of the weight of the lines a bit more because some were light, some were heavy um, and it would have looked unbalanced. I changed the shape of the arm and the t-shirt because I wanted him to look a little wider. And here just blocking in some colour on his fur and tidying up the edges. Oh, and if you are wondering what program I'm using here, this is actually on Procreate on my iPad Pro. I usually use Photoshop and Paint on there, but I do find Procreate is really good for sketches and line art and inking. And all in one go here, adding in some washes, not taking my pen off. And then weight, pressure sensitivity just um, lends to how dark or light it is. It also gives the shirt that sort of shiny football shirt look. And adding in some light and dark on the beak and the head with the wash, just with the eraser, with the same brush as 
what I've been painting with, it just takes it away. A little bit like um, when you're watercolouring, you might use some tissue to lift the paint off the surface. And it also gives it a little bit of a 3D um, fluid feel, some depth. And as Victor Magpie is on a Zoom call, um, I used a reference photo, this random dude, <laughs> on Zoom, just from Google, and added in the icons at the bottom. And that's it. Thank you for watching. And please do like and subscribe for more videos.